Howdy howdy guys, it's Ani Kyle here. Today I'll be talking about the matchmaking system in Apex Legends and how this season as a whole is so far. First off, I just want to say I like the new ranking system. It creates fun lobbies with awesome endings that feel competitive. I'm not in Diamond or Master, so I can't speak all that well, but I can say that when I was playing ranked when this first dropped, all I saw were Masters and Diamonds from last season, which could be viewed as scary, but in all honesty, I was fragging most of my ranked games. I played solo for a bit and played with only one of my friends, and playing in the Gold and Platinum lobbies honestly felt way better than playing in pubs right now, and that's where the problem is. I have a point, oh no, sorry, I have a 2.75 KD overall this season, which isn't that bad, but my ranked KD is up to 4.1, and I'm playing with the top 5% all the time in ranked, so this is what I've noticed, pubs is just not fun anymore, or not as fun, I should say. I can honestly see people wanting to play solo in ranked over pubs, because the matter of the fact is you just can't carry two random people against a 3 stack Pred and Master team, which is what you literally face all the time in pubs. I wouldn't get so mad over the fact if it was a couple games a day, but there would be games in a row of my team getting completely ran through by a 3 stack Pred slash Master squad, and in pubs they can do that more often because people push everything for no reason, even if they die in the process. People don't play to win in pubs, they don't have anything to lose if they die, so they'll do anything for an extra kill, which is why pubs is just so irritating. Nobody plays smart, and by the first time the circle, the first circle is about to close in, there are usually like 3 or 4 squads left, yeah you'll have games that are like 5 and 6 and 7 maybe, but most of the time it's not that high. And usually the kill leader has around 5-ish kills. I'm not saying this happens every game, obviously. You've got people like Ecstasy, or I don't even know if Fade does this anymore, but they solo lobbies a lot. And they pretty get high in the <laughs> They get high kills a lot and averagely, but I'm not saying no one ever gets these high kills or anything, but it's pretty hard when everyone lands in hotspots or fragments. You, If you don't, you'll just have a slow and boring game. It's the only thing to do. It's gotten to the point where I literally recognize players and names and skins in public matchmaking, where I can face anyone within a couple of safes from me, or maybe just North America in general. I don't really know how far the, the servers branch out, but I'm recognizing players game after game in pubs? Another thing is, is that what's the point of a 20 kill and 4,000 damage badge? Don't get me wrong, people who go for them all the time and can get them, like the top players can get them pretty often, but nowadays it just feels like the people only get them from being in bad lobbies. Think about it, if everyone is supposed to be the same skill level as you, getting these badges mean nothing. Literally, you, it only means that you got into an easy lobby. And I'm not saying to completely remove skill based matchmaking, but come on, reduce it. Do something, because pubs is just not the same anymore. Everyone is so good and are always trying, so it can almost never be relaxing. But I can somehow feel way more relaxed and ranked than pubs? That should never be the case. I'm not saying relaxing trying to get to Masters or Pred, but come on. With the new rank system, you'll be placed in a fluid spot, probably going back and forth consistently. How am I consistently having more fun and kills in these plat slash gold lobbies that are filled with the last season's top 5%? That pretty much wraps up my complaint. One more thing I would like to see is a solo ranked mode, which I think would be healthy for the community. This way you can keep ranked where it is and healthy for team chemistry and also keep people who just want to play solo just that just want to relax and just play. They can actually have a solo mode or have a solo mode where no, no one has a pre-made team comp. I can't really see the downside to this. I know the developers have talked about not wanting to have a solo mode because certain legends would be useless, which is why a non-pre-team mode ranked might be better, if that makes sense, where nobody can have a pre-made team in the ranked mode, I don't know. Uh, but if, if the majority of the community wants it, why not give it to them? This season has been special so far, but it has one of the highest player counts the game has ever had, but it also has so many bugs and glitches that are making the game just irritating to play. They've made two billion dollars from this game so far. The least we can get is a consistent developer and game making team that are paid well. This game has so much potential and it'll be sad to see if this game goes because of all the little bugs they have like the Loba's wristband, the Wraith which the no reg is crazy. I will have whole one clips on people that don't touch a single Wraith and it's just annoying and especially with the DDoS servers from Xbox. It's all just these little things that just add up. 
And that's pretty much all I have for today. I hope you guys liked this video and let me know what your thoughts are or if I was wrong about anything or maybe if you tweak something in the comments below. Keep on slaying legends. Peace out.